Hey everyone, Porkcuber here, and today I'm going to be showing you this Lego 1x2x3 that I made. And I think this is this is as small as I could get it. It's pretty small, it's not it's not really that big, it's smaller than my hand. So it's, the size is um eight by um, eight by fourteen, so it's pretty small. And like my one by two by two that I made. I kinda destroyed the one by two by two just so I can make this. So, let's see how it turns. So, as you can see, it, these, it's just to make sure it's fully functional, you can't pull these off. And the, you can't pull, or you can pull them apart if you, but they don't fall apart if you, so, so it can turn. So it's fully functional, so you can turn it like this. And then like this. And then you can turn it again. It doesn't turn the best, but... It's pretty smooth if you it's pretty smooth. I'm not I'm not even gonna think about flooring modding this thing because that would be bad. It doesn't have stickers or anything. Oh. So um it's a pretty simple mechanism. Um so I just camera here. So yeah, this is a much better angle. So so as you can see it turns that that you can do D R prime. I don't know. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I think it's not. It doesn't turn too well because it does catch. Like the this piece here can catch on that piece when it's in the middle of a turn. That's the only really issue. So it's pretty fun to play with. It didn't it only took me like it took me around like ten minutes to make. It's pretty. It's pretty easy. Now I'll show you the mechanism. So what it is is that. Take all the pieces out. We have um, these two pieces that fit together like this with a Technic pin. They kind of they spin around freely, and they there's this hole inside them that kind of there's a hole on both sides. They kind of do that, and you can take a piece which looks like this has this hook on it, so it hooks inside here to like move around. And when this is connected, it, you can like move it like that, and then turn it down like this, and it doesn't come out. So it's pretty simple. It pops much less than it doesn't pop as much as my what my one by two by two did. So it's a pretty simple. It's pretty simple. So so whenever you have like a piece that goes in like that, then there's a piece that goes in like this. They kind of go together. And then, so then this can turn, they can turn like that, so, yeah, it's a pretty simple mechanism, it's kind of self-explanatory, so, I like it, it's good, it's good addition for your collection, I wish I could do it in all, like, black pieces, I don't have that many black pieces, so, let's put it together. It's pretty fun to like play with every once in a while. Um, I've actually this is not my first. I built this like I built I've built these years and years and years ago. Years and years ago, I've built these things, and they're pretty. I love building them in the time. I love building these. Um, I never made a. Oops, I never made a video. On a one by two by three, I just made a video like yesterday or whatever on a or two days ago on a one by two by two, but yeah. So this is actually what was in this was this puzzle here was actually inside the one by two by two. It uses a one the one by two by two uses a one by two by three mechanism as I said in the other video in the one by two by two video. So the uh, corner cutting. Oh, it actually corner cuts. Watch. Oh, wait, does it? No. Reverse. Pfft. Yeah, that's what happens if you try corner cutting. It'll just explode. It'll pop. Here's size comparison. Here's a 3x3. Three three. Um, it's like, let's take another 3x3. Three three. So... Two three by threes is pretty much exactly the height of the one by two by three. Almost try like 
Oh, I just put like a 56 millimeter through that. Uh, pretty much. Let's see if I have like a smaller cube. Um, where? Where's? I have one of my 55 millimeter. Oh, here it is. So if I were to put this over, this is a 55 millimeter whale ring, and now they're exactly the same. So 50, 54.5 millimeter way long, um, and a 56 millimeter way long GTS. It's pretty much exactly the same height, exactly. And for the width, um, I don't know if I can wait. Five by five, exactly that way. And for this way, um, probably. Um, um, so for, yeah, screw it, um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. You can't really solve it or anything, because there's no stickers, there's no colors, there's no colors on it, there's colors, there's just no colored size to solve it, you can't, it's just stickerless, sort of, I don't know, but, so it has no, like, specific colors to solve it with. Oh yeah, there's that catch. Um. So I'm gonna put it into a checkerboard pattern. So I'm gonna say that this is the white side, and this is the yellow side. Like, the ones without, the ones with, like, the notches in the back, or the, is yellow, this is white. So I'm gonna put it in a checkerboard pattern. So here's like white, yellow, white, yep. Um, hold on. There you go. Um, uh, maybe not. Um, so, oh yeah, here's, here's a piece. Here's a cube I was looking for. Yeah, four and four is kind of just as long. So, it turns pretty well. It's, it does pop sometimes. Nope. Nope. Okay, so, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Please comment, rate, subscribe. Bye.